coming up on today's Help TV. If you've ever wondered how comic books are made, well, we're going to show you live today in the studio. And we are also going to look at superhero comics as literature, as pop culture, and as psychology and mythology, all today on Help TV. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show, everybody. So, Jenny, uh, you know, we're, we're connected with comic books. You had a little surprise, which really blew me away yesterday. You want to tell us what you got here? Well, my friend Taka, <laughs> who I went to school with, he, uh, he grabbed me these from Japan. In Japan, they have Jenny dolls instead of Barbies. So I don't have my own superhero. But this but, is pretty close. But I have Jenny Barbie dolls, And you, yeah. you could put a little cape on those. Yeah, and I know? don't know if you can see, but they do say Jenny all over the clothes. It's true. This is my first Jenny right here, and this is... Uh, Symbol Jenny. I'm Symbol not really Jenny. sure what Symbol Jenny means, <laughs> she, but she's she in a cowgirl something. outfit. Yeah. Yes. Are you ever going to get some outfits like this? Yes, actually, I'm going to wear it on the show tomorrow, so you want to stay tuned for that. Well, and I'm also, we were discussing whether we would wear superhero outfits today, and so I decided to come as Clark Kent, which oh, is why I'm wearing creative. my glasses. Kind of like today. your Halloween costume. The, exactly, yeah. that's <laughs> exactly. right. Yeah. Now, yeah. I don't know if you thought through my guest properly, because Jay was just telling me comic book guys don't talk to girls. And so well, I don't know what we're going to talk about. Well, if that's what he's, that's that's, what my guess he's spreading anyways, a vicious rumor there, <laughs> yeah, okay. because I've seen that at least three times in my life. Oh, okay. so I'm and you sure. have a wife. So that, exactly. Yeah. That's, <laughs> thank you for acknowledging Bye. that. <laughs> All right. So let's just get started. I'm uh, grateful to be joined today by Darren Zankel, who is a pop culture writer who was uh, written for, among other things, The Globe and Mail, and also for uh, Orion Kidder, who's working on his doctoral uh, dissertation, dissertation yes. uh, on superheroes. That's right. Now, let me ask both of you gentlemen, um, clearly, there are a lot of bad comics. I'm not asking about bad comics right now. I'm not asking about bad super comics. 90% of everything you know, in the art world and literature is lousy. What is it that attracts both of you to the 10% that you consider to be excellent? What is, Ryan, you want to start off? Wow, uh, that's a big question. Um, the ability to do something that is fun and escapist and also intellectually engaging at the same time to get that whole package together. That, that's what really draws me. And some people are shocked. You said intellectually engaging. They're still they're going, what, doctoral dissertation? Yeah. What, what makes comics intellectually engaging? Um, Superhero comics. When you've got uh, icons of, say, a whole country, somebody like Captain America, you have an incredible opportunity to actually level political commentary and yeah. social commentary. Yeah. Darren Zanko, how about it? Uh, I guess it's two phases. I, I, you know, comics grew up with me, so it started out as escapism and like, this is great. And as I grew older, the comics medium matured, and it continued to engage me intellectually. Yeah. And yeah. But, sorry, the other thing is is the whole the, the shared universe idea. It's like a it's like mm -hmm. a soap opera for nerdy boys. You know, <laughs> the, the interconnections between characters and how they evolve yeah. over the years, and it's 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 fun to live in that world. All right. Well, gentlemen, we're going to talk some more shortly about the world of comics, as you can see before me, and some of the key super concepts and writers. But first, we're going to go to Jenny and find about the professional world of comics. I'd like to introduce my guest today. I have Jay Bardilla, and he's the owner of Happy Harbor Comic Shop. And then I have two comic book artists, Richard Barkman and Dean Welsh. We're going to see you guys working all throughout the show today. And Jay, you're the one who said to me, well, comic guys don't talk to girls. And I know you were kidding, and that was a myth. But let's talk yeah. about some other myths when it comes to comic books that people think of there. Um, well, basically the fact that, you know, uh, we smell bad, we have poor communication <laughs> skills, um, generally unattractive. Well, uh, that's not what I meant exactly. All that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, well, no, there's a, a lot of the myths tend to stem around. It's weird because I get, the two comments I hear most often are, comics are nothing but little kitty fair. Mm -hmm. And the second one is that comics are all dark and, and ugly and are not meant for kids anymore. So it's really weird that you kind of have society as a whole doesn't recognize it as the fact that it's a medium that's extremely diverse, that you have stuff for kids, you have stuff for adults. Yeah. And, and one of the things I try to do is I actually go to a lot of schools and talk to people and I try to educate them about the fact that the comics, comics are a medium. It's like music, it's like film. So you have to kind of open your mind and accept the fact that there is just more than one type of, you know, comic. Right. You know, there isn't exactly. just rap. There is rock and roll. There's country. There's R and B. So you have superheroes. You have alternative. You have uh, historical. You have all different types of comics. And uh, and more and more society is starting to accept, accept that because we're seeing it in TV and film and, and everything else and where everything it's getting adapted. Like that. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Well, coming up after the break, we're going to talk more to Jay, and we're going to see these two gentlemen work, and we'll talk to you a little bit later too. So stick with us for more comics after the break. Thank you. 